Hello and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to work out number bonds to 100 very quickly on your head from any number like 19, 28, 37, 94, any number you should be able to add up to 100 very quickly in the head. Here's how you do it. Here we've got the rule box. So it says that we need to make the tens add up to 90, we need to make the units add up to 10, and then the 90 and the 10 will make the 100. What a lot of people do is add something to the tens that make it 100. So somebody might add 80, but 80 and 20 make 100, therefore the 7 and whatever else needs to go in here would make a 10, and then our answer would be 110. And that's not what we want. What we want is to make the tens add up to 90. So I think of two. What do I add to two to make nine? I do two add seven. That makes nine. So I also know that 20 add 70 makes 90. So I'm going to put seven tens here. Then I think about the seven. What do I need to add to seven to make 10? I need to add three. So I put 3 for my units. 20 at 70 makes 90. And 7 at 3 makes 10. And I know that that together will make 100. Let's try the same approach with these two numbers. And if you fancy doing it to yourself, just pause the video and try it and see what, uh, see what you come up with. We've got 42. We need to add something to it to make 100. So... We need to look at the rule box. The tens need to add up to 90. So I think, what does 4 add something makes uh, 9? What do I need to add to 4 to make 9? I need to add 5. So what do I need to add to 40 to make 90? I need to make, I need to add 50. So I'm going to put 5 tens, 50 right there. Then what do I need to add to 2 to make 10? Well, straightforward, I need to add 8. So I'll put 8 units there. So 42 at 58 is 100. I'll do the same with 67. I need to add something to 60 to make 90. So that will be 30. So I'll put 3 tens here. And what do I add to 7 to make 10? I need to add 3. So I put 3 units in. So 67 and 33 makes 100. If you don't believe me, well, let's just check it on the calculator. 42 add 58 makes 100, of course. And 67 add 33 also makes 100. It is now time for you to pause the video and have a go at answering these for yourself. So you need to pause the video, make sure you've answered all the questions before you press play in the video again, and you'll see me rubbing out the pause right here. When that has been finished, I will start to reveal the answers to you. Away you go. So let's now go through the answers. Firstly, what do I have to add to 13 to make 100? So I start with the 110. What do I need to add to 10 to make 90? I need 80. So 8 tens, 80 is what goes in the answer. What then do I need to make, uh, to add to 3 to make a 10? I do 3 at 7, that makes a 10. So 87 and 13 makes 100. I know that I just need to add 10 to 80 to make my 90. And 4 just needs a 6 to make the other 10 for the units. So 84 at 16 makes 100. Now the number missing is here. It doesn't matter, you do the same thing. What do I add to 30 to make 90? I need 60. And then I only need 1 to add to my 9 to make another 10. So 61 at 39 is 100. Now this one, a lot of people will put 88. Let's go through the rule box and see if that's correct. What do I need to add to 20 to make 90? I know that uh, to add 2 and 7 together that makes 9. So 20 at 70 together makes the 90. And then I need to add 8 to my 2 to make, this, to make the 10. So 22 add 78 will give me the total of 100. 
And finally, I've already got 90 here, so I don't need to add any 10s at all. So what do I need to add to the 1 to make the 10? I only need to add 9. A bit of a trick question. Hopefully you didn't get scuppered by it. If you've got all of those right, you deserve a big well done. Hopefully that will make it easier for you to add up any two-digit number to make 100 in your head without putting a foot wrong. Well done!